is morning uh, Jose Mourinho, uh, yeah. and uh, the man, the bespectable, the, the, the bespectacled uh, young man in black <laughs> is Titus Bankale. Uh, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> and Fiona is the amazing lady uh, standing in a pink shirt. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. All right, um, we got, we got friends uh, behind us. Uh, uh, Bola and Lee. Who? Well, I'm sure she wouldn't want to say a thing, anything at all. But let's just uh, get straight into the nitty gritty of what we're doing today. Let's say a very, very firm welcome to uh, King Can. We're, we're t still trying uh, to make sure we're. On to him, and uh, as soon as we, we do that, uh, can, if you can hear us already, can you just uh, wave? Papilo, aha, oh, Papilo can hear us. That is good. Can you please say hello to all your fans listening in from across the world right now? Okay, um, well, just a um, can if you can hear us, um, just um, a slight technical challenge, and um, it's going to be over, hopefully in a matter of seconds, and and then it will be clear uh, once again. But um, yeah. uh, for those, okay, I think you're now. Yeah, you just say Papilo. Oh, okay, Papilo! At long last, yeah. we can hear you. How are you doing, Papilo? I'm fine. Are you? Well, really nice, really fine. It's, it's such a great pleasure to see you in person and to talk to you right here on this first ever, first ever Google Plus Hangout featuring uh, um, you, Papilla. All right, um, in a short while, we'll be doing a more detailed introduction of uh, uh, Kanu. Uh, but before that, I would like to give a chance for all our participants on this Hangout to do a quick round of introductions. Tell us who they are, what they do, where they're dialing from. Uh, some house rules, uh, uh, by the way, and um, just bear in mind that um, as you participate in this Hangout, we want you to put your microphone off. Your microphone is on your top right-hand corner, top right-hand corner of your screen. Keep it turned off until you are about to speak. When you're about to speak, you turn it back on. So keep it off so, so that you can have your own uh, bit of privacy and um, uh, what you're saying at the background does not interfere, okay? So, good. Put your mic on mute when you're talking. Turn it on when it's your turn to speak. When you have a comment, please feel free to raise your hand. Uh, so we'll uh, just point at you, okay? Feel free to punch in your comments in the chat box to your right, which we will read just in case um, uh, we're having uh, audio difficulties, okay? Uh, and for those of us, for those of you who are listening to us on radio, you can participate by sending your questions using Twitter hashtag AskKanu, okay? Hashtag Ask Kanu, that's, um, that's double K, A-S-K-K-A-N-U. Now, this Hangout will also be streaming live on Kanu's YouTube channel. That's www.youtube.com forward slash Papilo Kanu. You're not going to miss any single thing. So for now, let's have um, an introduction of everybody already here in this Hangout. We'll start from the left of the screen. Okay, just... Uh, uh, that's Amina, Amina Eko. Let's uh, uh, get a detailed description of you, what you do, where you're dialing us from. Uh, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you. Can you hear me? Quite clearly. Okay. I'm, I'm in Lagos, and I'm just so happy to be here. <laughs> All right. What do you do, Amina? Okay. I make cosmetics, natural products. Oh, amazing. So good to have you join us, Amina. And um, next? Hello, that's Amulika uh, Eminanjo. I hope I didn't murder your name. Please, could you, could you pronounce it properly? Oh dear, we can't hear you. Are you sure? Are you sure you're not uh, muted? Check uh, the right hand screen. Okay, okay, you're on. So talk to us. Hello, everybody. I'm very happy to be here on this first hangout. My name is Amulika Eminanjo. No, you didn't murder it. You did good this time. Um, I'm in Toronto, Ontario. I'm an accountant by day, and I blog also. So I'm very excited to be part of uh, this hangout to get to talk to King Kanu in person. All right. So let's uh, move on to the very next one. That that's Azu. Azu, could we meet you fully? Yeah, I'm, 
I'm Azul. I'm from I'm speaking in from Coventry, UK. I'm a student. Okay. I, I, yeah, I get it. Uokobia, uh, the proper yeah. the, the surname. Yeah, yeah, correct. All right, good to have you, Azu. Let's yeah, uh, meet you. Chidima. Your full name is Chidima. Okay. Hello, um, yes. hello. I, I'm sure you can hear me, right? Yes, we can hear you quite clearly. Okay. Um. Good evening. Um. My name is Chidima Janokara. I am. Um. I am calling from Lagos, or I'm participating in this hangout from Lagos. Hi, Chidima. Um, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm a cloud specialist and a Google Apps sales um, certified specialist. Thank you so very much. Let's move on to the next. Uh, that has got to be Chinedu, yeah? <laughs> what, what is he doing there? Uh, are you not training? <laughs> Chinedu Obasi joins us, guys. <laughs> I like the guy. <laughs> Chinedu, where are you at this very moment? I'm in Germany. I just, um, I just heard about Kano hangout and I just wanted to be with him and just support him and know what he's all about. Interesting. Uh, okay, that's our own Chinedu Obasi. Obuke. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining in. All right, um, let's go to the next person. That's, uh, it's got to be Collins, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, a gangster. Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Collins. Yeah. Um, What's your full name, Collins? Collins Linz. Okay, where are you calling from, Collins? I'm calling from Austria. From Austria, You're joining us from Austria. Amazing. What do you do, Collins? Yeah, I'm working here. Okay, great yeah, to hear nice, from you, nice, and um, let's hope nice we have to, fun together. Yeah, it's nice to hang out with Papillo itself for the first time. Okay. Yeah, nice. Thank you, welcome. And uh, next, I presume, is Dami. Hello, yeah. Dami. Oh, Dami, you've got to unmute. Uh, you, you, you've got to uh, press the mute button. Let it come on. Top right-hand corner of your screen, Dami. Top right-hand corner of your screen. Just click on the uh, mute button. Oh, dear. All right. Okay, anyway, she sent us a text. She says, hi, my name is Dami Akinwande. I currently reside in Dublin. I'm a student from the University College of Dublin, and I am so excited to be part of this Hangout with Kanu. You're going to hear her later. I, I guess, Dami, you've got to check your um, your mute button on the top right-hand corner of your screen and unmute it when you need to talk so we can hear you. All right. Um, uh, well, next, next on the screen is ourself. I'm Femi, and you can see the gesticulation from the studios of Nigeria Info. Next, uh, right after that, is uh, Papilo himself. And then we move on from Papilo to Victor Victor Okafo, where are you uh, reaching us from, Victor? Hello, Victor. All right, Victor, you've got to unmute the screen, your um, your your mute button on the right-hand corner of your screen. Okay, we can hear you now, Victor. Go ahead. Okay, I'm 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 I'm, I'm participating from Lagos, Nigeria. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Thank you so very much. Uh, what do you do, Victor? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a Google sales specialist. Um, we are involved in cloud solution, providing cloud solution All right. to organizations um, on the Google Apps platform. All right, guys. Um, as we start off, we're going to take a few minutes. I mean, we're going to... Uh, there's, I mean, what is there to say about uh, King Kano, about Papilo? You know it all. No, but, no. you know, we may touch on some of just some uh, fraction of... Uh, what he's known for and to do that uh, um, we'll play you two short videos two short videos it would seem mm -hmm, perhaps two short videos and um, well uh, the guys will play the video you who are following us in this hangout you can all see this video it's going to is going to come it gives you a detailed idea would we'll, uh, roll up uh, uh, the audio so you guys at home who are not um, on the Google Plus hangout but who are here listening to us on 99.3 Nigeria Info can have an idea. Are we good to go with that um, video? Please let it roll.
habilidade ali. Rivaldo, dá uma saída para a seleção brasileira, 3x3. Do jeito que as coisas caminham, vamos para a prorrogação, né? A moral. Vem a Nigéria. All right, guys. Um, well, we shall hope you, uh, some of you are able to see that that video. I did see the one, the Atlanta '96 video, uh, where Kanu totally, single-handedly um, destroyed Brazil in the semi-final of the Olympic competition, uh, 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 feature, featuring the Nigerian Dream Team. That was the original Dream Team. Dream Team one. We're going to talk about that in a bit, and um, as soon as we can, we'll see the other video. But first. And foremost, I mean, let us talk about uh, King Kanu and um, none other uh, than uh, Papilo himself uh, to, um, you know, lead us through that. Uh, Emmanuel, you've got some amazing um, information of, of uh, uh, Kanu alongside Olisa. Just reel out some of the things about Papilo that um, he's been known for and what he's accomplished over time before we go over to Papilo himself. All right, just um, in a nutshell, I mean, he's one man who uh, defined all the odds in terms of uh, making it to the height of uh, professional football. Uh, but as it is with um, all superstars, he began playing in the Nigerian league for, unfortunately, not for shooting stars or any but for Atlanta International, uh, then known as the Wyoming National uh, Femi. And um, he actually made a switch after his um, incredible performances for a Wyo National and um, had to journey down to the Dutch NWC where he signed for Ajax and he was um, overly famous because uh, he alongside Finiti and the other Nigerians and uh, Van der Sar were able to win uh, the championship way back and um, from there uh, he made the move also uh, to International. We understand the situation uh, where all of the heart issues came alive. He fought it hard and he overcame uh, Femi and uh, made the move to Arsenal. Uh, the list is endless. Uh, I cannot forget the three goals he scored against Chelsea Football Club, uh, one of the most remarkable moments in Kano's career. And afterwards, uh, it looked like his uh, professional career was over Femi. He joined West Bromwich Albion and alongside this former United player, Rachel Sin, uh, they kept uh, West Brom alive in the league. Uh, the drama of that final league game, Femi. His celebrations also, uh, no one will forget it. And um, then he made a move to Paul Smith, uh, where uh, there's just something unique about Kanu. When you think it's over for him, he just leads up the entire place. He won the FA Cup with Paul Smith. Unfortunately, the team got relegated. Uh, basically, for uh, his performances in his club side, Femi, uh, not too many Africans have the sort of records he has. He's won the Champions League, he's won, uh, won league um, triumphs, what's with us, no football club, Ajax Amsterdam. It's no news for the national team, Olympic gold medalist. And um, unfortunately, I think that's going to be one of my questions. I'm going to keep that for me. Mm -hmm. For the national team, mm -hmm. maybe personally not so impressive uh, in terms of goals scored, but overall assessment of his life as a professional footballer. Aside from Samuel Little Fields, no one comes close. Well, just so you know, it's two-time African Footballer of the Year. And yeah, did that I miss that? Is no mean feat by any standard. Uh, uh, Papilo, now we're going to try, still try and let you see those videos, especially the Arsenal-Chelsea video in a short while. But um, Papilo, this is the part where we bring you right in. And um, tell us, please, take us into the dressing room at halftime during Atlanta 96 against Brazil. Halftime score 3-1 against Nigeria. What did Joe Bonfrey say to the team? What happened? Um, of course, when you are 3-1 against Brazil, you know what? 5-1 or 7-1. They thought this, um, <laughs> we went in there and uh, we look at ourselves and then we believe that uh, we are playing 11 against 11. And this is semi-finals. We have players like JJ Okocha. We have good players. So why? Let's go for it and see what's going to happen. If they can score three in the first half, so we can also score three. So Bonfrey was like telling us now to relax, not to even force the game. Let's keep on playing the way we are playing, that we come out with something. But the spirit here was very, very strong. 
we believe in each other and we believe we can do it. And when we went back, um, yeah, it was something else. Then you can see the spirit of Nigeria coming out. You can see those players wearing green, white, green, white meant for them. And that's what we did. All right, uh, uh, Papilo. Now, with just only a few minutes left in that game, Nigeria had fought back. We needed just one goal and time was running out. And there you are, lurking in that 18-yard box. I, I think it was Teslim Fatusi that mm -hmm. got that last pass to you, Papilo, on that day. What was going through your mind when you scored that equalizer? And what was the idea behind that first celebration? Um, every great player, I have to tell you this. Uh, maybe I have to teach you this. Whenever you're in the 18 year box, you, do, you really have to relax. Oh, make sure you make it your living home. You don't have to be in a hurry. And for me, I've been doing that since I've been, uh, I've been playing football. But um, in football, you only pray for the chance and the opportunity to come. And for me that day, that is what I've been looking for. And it happens to come to my way. There's only, thing, only one thing I can do. Either I have to kick it back or I have to keep the ball up uh, to my advantage to score. But um, I could see the keeper coming and I know what he's looking for. But you don't have to give him what he's looking for. So you have to you know, trick him and that's what I did. And um, for us, we know that, yeah, of course, the game is um, how many minutes? One minute, two minutes to go. If we could score by then, of course, their spirit is going to, they're not going to be really strong. Uh, because when they are 3 1, they are like, it's all over. Uh, two, two minutes to go. So there's nothing Nigeria can do. So uh, the magic is only, it comes only once. And um, I thank God that I'm the person that it comes to, and I did what I have to do. So when you talk about players with skills, you talk about King Kanu. Oh. Amazing. Uh, basically, there will be plenty of questions to be asked right from the studios and very importantly from all our friends uh, who are joining us in this hangout. Now, all you need to do is, I mean, those questions will come before we exhaust from here. Let us give you the opportunity. Feel free to ask any question of Kano, if you, you know, please, so, so we can have a bit of orderliness, just indicate uh, by raising your hand. And of course, uh, I would call you personally. And don't forget to unmute the mute button on the top right hand corner of your screen when you join us. Uh, I'm trying to face the uh, camera just a little bit now. So who <laughs> will throw the first salvo? Uh, who will ask uh, the first question of uh, Papilo? Don't forget, Kanu is not just about football these days. Uh, and for a long period of his uh, footballing career, he also has that amazing foundation, more of which you'll hear during the course of this hangout, the Kanu Heart Foundation. Feel free to ask questions um, regarding that as well. Anybody? Anybody willing to go first? Any question? Okay. It would seem, uh, yes, um, hold on a bit. It would seem um, that's Azu. Azu, let's hear you. Uh, hello, Kano. Hi. Uh, my question goes thus. When you first found out about your heart problem, how did you feel? I mean, did you ever believe you were going to play football again? Um, uh, it was difficult because at that time, you don't know what to think. The only thing you do is to keep on praying. And... Um, I always say this, I always thank everybody who prayed for me. You can't really say what's going to happen after. But after, I thank God that I, I keep on playing football. Thank God right. for your life. Thank you, Azu. Um, who else uh, has a question at the moment? Chidima? Yes, Chidima, feel free to go. Okay, um, so um, my question is actually going to sound stupid. I'm actually, um, when it comes to soccer, I'm a bit of a, a high-level illiterate. So the question is, when you say um, litigation, what does that mean, really? I'm mm -hmm. oh, sorry, relegation. Yeah, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Okay, so that's my question. Uh, it's a team dropping off from, um, um, if you're in a, a league, you have like uh, 18, 10, 12, uh, clubs, and if you are not really good, the club is not good, and they don't have the maximum points, 
definitely they will drop to a lower division. And that's what it means. All right. It means dropping down one level. Just dropping down one level. Uh, you, you, you go from playing with the big boys to playing with the small boys until you are good enough to play with the big yeah, boys like again. Boys from Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, no. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. Not now. All right, guys. Any more questions? Well, okay. It's Amolika. Amolika, can we hear you? Yes, I'm here. Oh. Okay, Amolika, <laughs> yes. go ahead. Um, my question is in regards to you know your work in philanthropy. If um, the other lady, uh, Chidima, thinks she's an illiterate when it comes to soccer, I think I'm double illiterate when it comes to soccer. So um, I've been following your work. I've been following um, um, news about your foundation. That's the Kano Hat Foundation and your work with children uh, with heart defects. And I must commend you because it's very commendable what you're trying to do especially, you know, in our country, Nigeria, where, you know, the environment is not really conducive for health care and, you know, for social services. So I have to commend you on your work that you're doing. Um, I would like to know um, what really inspired you. Was it um, your, um, your experience with uh, your heart-related disease that inspired you to um, start this foundation? What inspired you to, you know, go into philanthropy work? Um, I've been doing a lot with football, and of course I played football. I want to give back to the society, and that's what I've been doing. But, um, yeah, I went through what I went through, and uh, which means um, uh, when you look at it, you ask yourself, if an adult can go through that, what of the kids? And I decided to start up or establish a a charity organization called Kano Have Foundation. Yeah, just to give back and make sure that um, um, the less privileged cannot, uh, who cannot afford it, I can help them with, um, yeah, uh, my fame, my money, and whatever I can do. And uh, that's why I started doing it. Oh, fantastic. Um, I also read somewhere that uh, there's a center being proposed. It's a $5 billion cardiac center in Abuja. Um, how's the fundraising for that? Um, is it still ongoing and has work begun on the project? And when do you propose it to be fully operational? Um, thank you for asking that because uh, we did the launch in uh, March 14th. Okay. Uh, like as you know, and um, of course everybody knows, if I'm a president and uh, doing a fundraising, everybody will be there. If I'm a governor doing a fundraising, everybody will be there. But all the same, we thank God that uh, yeah, we did the fundraising. And um, the few that came supported us. But um, yeah, um, I can't tell you now that we, yeah, we had enough fund to build the hospital. So we are still uh, pleading and uh, asking people to support us. Because if you build a hospital in Nigeria, of course, what are we saying? We are even doing zero to 12 years free. And mm -hmm. um, yeah so that our people will not be going outside the country uh, because it's, it's very, very expensive and the foundation, the pressure is on us. So, yeah, we, it's a dream that um, we pray that will happen. But before it happens, we need everybody's support. We need Nigerian support. We need, yeah, even uh, people abroad uh, to come in and help the foundation. The money for me is not really much if you talk of Giant of Africa. And we don't have that kind of hospital. Yeah, so why not support the Kana Foundation uh, to establish a hospital like that? Oh, great. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, what, what are the most notable contributions that the Kano Hat Foundation has been involved in to date? Like, um, is there any special project or any um, a case that you, know, you can bring out and say, OK, yeah, this is what uh, the Kano Foundation was involved in? You know, anything they're really proud of to date that uh, your foundation has participated yeah, in? Yeah, the, the first time we treated um, uh, three kids uh, was in uh, England, in UK. And um, before the treatment, uh, you could see on their faces, uh, they cannot smile, their eyes are blue. Uh, the family was like shaking. They don't know what's going to happen. But the foundation uh, come up to rescue and make sure that, uh, yeah, we took them outside the country, and uh, since then, um, 
uh, three of them are now in uh, university level. So oh, the foundation is proud of it. And I can tell you today that the foundation have operated 457 people, um, having almost like 150. The more we do help, the more we still have people coming in. So um, we don't pray for people to have a problem, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's life. So we are here to keep on helping and doing our best for them. Fantastic. I wish you all the best with your foundation. And uh, I just have one more question. I don't want to hold up everybody's time. I'm sure everybody has uh, questions that they want to ask you because this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And thank you for agreeing to this hangout. Uh, how did your name, Papilo, come about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Um, my um, senior brother used to answer Papilo. Uh, I don't know how it comes about because... Um, I was um, in school and people used to call me Junior Papilo. Okay. So I was having that Junior Papilo until um, when it was not playing anymore. So and I said, okay, if I'm answering Junior Papilo, I will not answer Junior Papilo till I die. So why not answer Papilo if he's not playing anymore? So <laughs> that's right. inherited the name. Papilo. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to ask this question. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a whole lot, um, Amwalika. So good to hear uh, from you. And um, we're, we're looking at this point. Uh, let's just uh, take a quick break because uh, the guys in the studio, in the studios here, uh, have got a couple of questions. Anybody with, uh, who would like to ask the very first and then before we join the guys on the Hangout again? All right. Uh, um, uh, can you hear Hello, Papilo. Hello. Okay. okay. All right. It's Emmanuel asking this question, and it's basically about football. And um, I need to applaud Amalika's questions because uh, uh, definitely that's what's more important since you're retired now. The Heart Foundation is key to you. Uh, but going back uh, to what made you Kano Anko, and um, looking at the clubs you played for, uh, aside from Arsenal Football Club, uh, where else would you say that you enjoyed playing professionally? Um, Ajax. I know people don't tend to remember Ajax, but uh, Ajax was the key to, yeah, whoever I am today uh, in the football world. Um, that's what I'm going around to advise the young ones who are coming up to make sure that they make the right choice. Uh, for me, Ajax was the best in youth development and um, after the, 19, uh, after the um, Japan 93 World Cup, um, I had a lot of clubs who wanted to pay me a lot of money uh, to come and join them. But all the same, I decided to go to Ayas because I know the, the history and uh, what is, it stands for. And uh, yeah, I benefited from it. So I will say that um, Ayas is, a, apart from Arsenal, Ayaz is the next club that I can uh, be proud and talk about. Okay, uh, just before I hand over to Femi, a quick question. You've played against um, incredible defenders, some of the finest footballers ever. Uh, who would you rate or rank as the hardest player you've ever come up against? Um, every defender is hard. Okay. <laughs> you can't really say this is uh, hard. <laughs> For me, my style of football makes it difficult. Hmm. For people to really one, yeah, show that they are hard. Two, even to kick or kick me. So I thank God for that. So hmm. from that angle, I can't really say that this defender was defending me. I cannot do anything. Or this is this defender is strong or hard. So if you really go back, um, yeah, or, or check or watch my videos, it's always difficult for defenders to really know what I'm going to do. And I'm. Um, I'm not a player who is always sticking with that uh, defender. And whenever he's around me, of course, um, yeah, he's got talent, he's got blessing. I know how to uh, deal with the defender. So I didn't say that uh, you don't have uh, difficult defenders out there, but what I'm saying is that I can't really say, um, yeah, this is the hardest because uh, my style of football is different. Well, I, I, I can attest to that, uh, Papilo, because uh, one of these, um, uh, this post-retirement uh, fr uh, friendly games, uh, um, I was privileged to play against you, and 
but um, he dribbled you. Well, at, at well I considered a penalty. <laughs> you know, I thought you fouled me. I thought you fouled me in my own box, but the referee right. gave your side the penalty. That's uh, that's um, the game. Um, super uh, former stars versus um, celebrities, uh, which was late last year, and I know how totally impossible it is to uh, to mark you sometimes we, we've got we'll come back to the studios but Victor Kafo has been standing by with a question Victor ready to shoot shoot hello Victor yeah hello I'm here okay go ahead let's hear you okay okay um, thank you for this opportunity um, first of all I want to say a very big thank you to Papilo for his um, contribution to um, soccer in Nigeria and Africa and then also, uh, but um, first, uh, let me ask my question, then I'll say some more things. Um, first, um, I want to ask um, Kanu how how he has kept his cool. You know, um, over the years he has achieved so much. You know, and um, how has he been able to stay focused? Um, you know, on his dream to be um, a world renowned footballer, and how he has avoided uh, so many distractions that are out there. You know, to you know that has stopped a lot of people. You know, from um, advancing. And then out, and then I also want to know. Um, how you know he was able to you know be who he is today, um, to be where he is today, and um, to be a, you know he's a brand. You know, Kano is an amazing brand, and everybody wants to identify with Kano Wanko, either for soccer, either for what he's doing with the Heart Foundation. So I just want him to uh, kind of like um, give us an overview of how he has made it thus far, and then so so as we can draw some inspiration from that, and you know achieve even so much more with ourselves. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I hope I will remember all that you asked. <laughs> but, all the, <laughs> but all the same, um, uh, where are you coming from matters a lot. And what your parents uh, input in you matters a lot. And that's why we really call on the parents to make sure that uh, they can educate their children. Uh, for me, um, of course, respect, um, discipline honesty, and have to focus on whatever you are doing. There's no shortcut to success. Um, you can see people who make money from the wrong direction and quick money, and it ends up quickly. So for me, um, all this uh, is what I put together and being who I am today, because first you have to pray and um, keep on thanking God every day you wake up and seeing yourself um, yeah, fit. You thank God, even if it's a bad day, even if it's a, a bad day for you, even if it's a, yeah, you always keep on praying uh, because God knows how to test us and knows what we are about to do. Uh, it's always difficult, um, yeah, to be there and it's always difficult to make it and it's also difficult to stay where, if you have made it, to stay there. So a lot of things will come. Uh, if you have friends, when you haven't made it, when you made it, you can triple it. And uh, it's always difficult to handle that. Uh, but in life, like I said, you always have to have principle. You have to be disciplined. And it's always good to preach for that. And one good thing about uh, life is also God made you who you are. You always have to you know, keep cool and let God bring you where you're supposed to be. And don't let uh, money push you around. You have to always <laughs> push money around. And the problem with this world is that uh, a, lot of, a lot of people, money push them around. So whenever they are that height, they tend to forget everything. So wherever you are, whatever you have made in this life, you have to make sure you are still who you are because you are from nothing to being where you are. So I think I've answered the first question. I don't know about the second question. If I can get the second question, then I can really answer that. <laughs> okay. Well, um, so I mean, you really, you really touch on everything, and um, so there's no need to even answer the second question. I'm so grateful for, um, you know, the, um, the answers you gave. Um, it's been very inspiring, and I just hope to one day, you know, um, have a um, a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, meeting with you, you know, and just tell you how much I love you and appreciate what you've done. Oh, really? You know, thank you so much. Thank All you. right. I'm All glad. right. Uh, thank you, Kafo. Just, uh, just so you know, um, uh, Kanu uh, Mwako has the national awards of Officer of the Order of the Niger. Um, uh, <laughs> amazing uh, stuff. Now, Kanu, every great story begins somewhere. How yeah. were you 
discovered? Hmm. That's a big one. Um, I don't have to tell you everything now because um, <laughs> my video is coming up and um, uh, it's, it's called The Lion Heart. So if I tell you everything, I don't think you will be, <laughs> you, you will like to go and buy it. So I will just. At least you can <laughs> promote it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm telling you now. It's a lion heart. And mm. uh, like I said, it's all about Kano because uh, people want to be like Kano or even be better, like, better than Kano. But all the same, you have to really know the story about Kano. Um, um, it started. Uh, for me, when I was little, my dad um, is a sports uh, man and he loves sports a lot. So um, the only thing he knows is um, we should go and uh, read our books and make sure we go to school. And, um, and when it's time for sports, definitely he comes out to support us on that. Uh, but if you check it, uh, he support us like 70% for us to read our books and go to school than playing football. But all the same, because he loves football, he encourages us and he keeps buying us uh, boots and ball uh, to make sure that uh, we do what we love to do. But like your uh, question is, um, how did you make it? Um, I started playing and um, looking up to my uh, bigger brother who was playing at that time. And also, yeah, if you ask me one person I, I want to be, like at that time, I will tell you Socrates. And um, Stephen Cash was a big influence as well. Because, um, you know, when they call him big boss, uh, he's a leader, a captain, and he was wearing number four. So all the same, I was coming up and I was like, um, Okay, we seem to be having um, slight connection issues. Uh, slight connection issues. Can, can you still hear us? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay, we can hear you now. Go on. Yeah, so, you know, when you have uh, your friends and when they want to play football, if they don't see you, they don't play. Uh, that uh, means a lot to you because it means that you are very, very important. And when you play, people talk about you. And, um, yeah raising you up and that so you know that you have something in you uh, from there uh, I just say to myself of course if these people believe in me I have to believe in myself and from that day and that is what I used to tell people you have to believe in yourself so I believe in myself and my ability um, I keep on playing um, school games keep on playing um, there's, there's something they call machinery they call you, they go and play for them, they pay you, and you use it to support yourself in school. And from there on, yeah, everybody was talking about me in the state. And um, yeah, I picked up from there. All right. All right, Kairu, thank, thank you so very much. Um, I'm, I'm looking at uh, um, everybody on the Hangout now, to, just to make sure that everybody has had their chance to throw their questions out. Um, uh, Chinedu Obasi, <laughs> I, I know, I, I, as a matter of fact, I know if we're going to say how much influence uh, Papilu has had on you, I mean, it would take um, perhaps another hour. But do you have a question or a comment to make um, to, to uh, directed at uh, Kanuako? Um, I don't really have any, I don't really have much to say. I, like meeting Kano personally was like a dream come true for me. It's, I've been watching him even in the time of Atlanta 96 and he's a big influence. And being able to stand on the same pitch or train with him or even be able to sit down with him, it's like, I couldn't even believe it the first day I met him. And, um... He's from Abia State and I'm from Abia State as well. So it was like there was always something that he's always someone that always inspired me. And um, I've had the opportunity talking to him personally or one on one. And he's one of the most amazing person that you can talk to. So I feel honored being here and watching him again or I don't even know what to say because 
he's such a great guy. I think it's a, it's a, um, it's a big honor for whoever that has the opportunity to meet him in person and be able to know what kind of heart that he has. So I'm very honored to be here and just watching him talk to him. Thank you very much, Chinedu. I, 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 I always thought um, uh, Papilo was uh, from Imo and not Abia. <laughs> Are you trying to yeah, steal him? Can I that question? <laughs> <laughs> Papilo, please clarify. Yeah, I'm from Abia. Uh, okay. But, um, all my life, um, <laughs> I stayed in Imo. I was born in Imo, and um, I did everything in Imo. That's why you have that... Um, <laughs> Is understanding where I'm from. I'm from Abia. My parents are from Abia. All right. All right. Dami shot a question to you. She wants to know what your future plans for the Kano Heart Foundation is. Could you please share that with what are your immediate plans? What are your future projections for the Kano Heart Foundation? Um, let me, can I go back to Chinedu? Yes, quickly do so. Yeah, uh, Chinedu, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um, it's always good to see the young ones who are coming after us, uh, especially uh, like Chile do, doing great and playing good football, being a good club. Um, it's, it means a lot. Uh, I can tell you that when we are like coming up, we didn't have that. Nobody supported us, nobody advised us, and all those things. So I believe whatever I've, whatever impact I've uh, made on the young players' life. I really appreciate um, the give back also to the ones who are coming after them because that's how life is. So I thank him for even being here, making that time to talk to, to us and uh, be part of it. And um, the sky is the limit for him because uh, he's a great guy as well. Um, so thank you very much and um, keep doing what you are doing. You know, the wrong things are not good to be done, so don't do them. So if you know what kind of told you, so always remember them and keep going and make sure that you pray. Um, your talent is still your talent, so nobody can take it away from you. God's time is the best. Don't give up. Give up any time. Uh, always believe in yourself. And that's why I tell everybody to believe. When Nigeria was like going to the Nations Cup in South Africa, uh, which we are champions now, people are like talking, ah, oh, we can't make it. And I said to them, no. The only thing you can impart on them is to believe. And if they believe, we are going to do it. And that's what they did. And um, today, everybody is shouting, I'm from Nigeria. And that's football. So, Chinedu, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. OK, thank you. Uh, could you please just pay a comment uh, for Dami's question about what the uh, future I'm plans sure. are for the yeah. Kano Heart Foundation? Um, it's a big dream, you know. When I started, I was like, I want to have five hospitals in Africa. Uh, starting from Nigeria, and yeah, and the dream is still there. Um, when I say 457, we have operated 457. It's not it's not only from Nigeria, and 457 yeah, it's not a a small number, but I know we can do more than that. So the question is here: yeah, where the foundation is going? Uh, the foundation wants to have hospital in Nigeria, a very massive hospital in Nigeria, because we know what it takes us to go around the world, operating these people, operating, of course, our patient. Uh, we started in UK, and it cost us fortune. It's like you do 20,000 pounds for operation. It's nothing, nothing to do with the flight, the accommodation, or the logistics. So we have to run away from UK and we go to Israel. And Israel was in dollars. Now you're talking about pounds. Now it's in dollars. And um, we have to move on from that and go to India. The operations in India. So can you imagine uh, flying people from Africa to all these places? Uh, what do you cost? And uh, of course, you have to go with your parents, accommodation, all those stuff. Um, for us, we are tired of, um, of that. Of course, Nigeria is a giant of Africa. Africa is so big. Why don't we have it in Africa? So the dream, the dream of the foundation is still there, that you're going to have five hospitals in Africa. Charity starts at home. So let's... But the one even we are talking about to have in Nigeria, that's the one we are struggling now. 
uh, you keep on knocking at the doors of these yeah rich people and uh, but um of course some of them opens the door some is difficult for them but um uh, like i say in football you don't give up we the foundation we don't give up we know what we are doing is right we know what we are doing is good it's a good cause uh we keep on doing that until we are there it's not going to be one day stuff because uh, the foundation have been for 13 years now so we believe we can we achieve it and by god's grace we will so that's the plan right. for the foundation all right thank you very much um Ejiro obule just sent us um, a question all the way from cyprus uh, i mean she wants to know how you um handle the issue of captaincy um uh, in the nigerian super eagles um how did you ha handle the responsibility of being captain of the uh, of Super Eagles. Some say you were the most level-headed captain in uh, of our generation. What was it like briefly? Uh, I miss what because um, you have the players believed in you. You don't want to disappoint them. But all the same, you have the federation who you are going to battle with. So you try to balance um, balance the book and make sure that there's peace and not only that as a captain you have to show good example you have to carry everybody along and you have to impart on the young ones um i can tell you this um that's why i'm saying people have to really watch this movie it's, it's going to be a good movie and my book is coming off because uh, a lot of things that is in india is what people can see and then know what is going on in the national team and know who papillo is uh, let me still answer the question you asked me. Um, um, before, at, at first, when I went to the national team, you have the big ones and the small ones. Mm. The small ones are the ones that are just coming in, in new, and uh, the big ones are the ones that are already there. So when you are there, they don't give you that space to belong with them. Uh, for me, I looked at that and I said, no, it's not really good. When, they are not, when the young ones are not close to you, they will not learn from you. And when you don't talk to them, they will not learn from you. So uh, when I was captain, then I tried to change a lot of things. Make sure that all of us are one. Uh, even take the time out to go to their rooms, to talk to them, and also talk to them on the field. So uh, um, it's a very big task, but um, I thank God that I was equal to it and make sure that there is peace. Everybody really was really happy. And the battle between the FA, the Federation, and the players, uh, they did, nobody heard, heard, that about, uh, heard that when I was the captain. So and, um, you learn from others. And when you are about to hang over, you have to also make sure that the person who is going to take over, uh, you still have to you know, tell him more or educate him on uh, the things because he is the advice and he have to learn from you. And that's what I did. All right. Um, as we, 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 we have to begin to wrap it up now. I just hope um, there are uh, no individuals who haven't um, asked some questions. But here are some quick fire questions. It's, you know, these ones will be short because it's either one or the other. So here are some quick fire questions for you. Just tell us which one. Uh, Papilu, Ajax or Arsenal? Take one. Let me answer it this way. Uh, I know I will answer it this way. <laughs> um, I ask for the younger ones coming up. Ask not for the big ones. So which one do you choose? <laughs> Let me ask now. <laughs> okay. Okay. I hope the rest will be shorter. Venga or Van Hal? <laughs> Venga. Venga. Okay. Sports car or SUV? Trophies or money? You said it before, but quick fire. Trophies. Hmm. Okay. Rice or pounded yam? Abba. This was from the rice. <laughs> <laughs> Eto or drogba? Iharo. Eto. Eto. Maradona or Pele? Well, 
the the obvious one the, the obvious next question will be Messi or Ronaldo. Okay, but tell us, who's the one player you regret not playing with? Um, no, I don't regret anything. Hmm. Um, uh, let's say on my own time, when I played, I played with the best of the best that was in the, in the world at the time. So I don't regret uh, because football is to come and go. So this is not my um, my time uh, gone. So people are playing uh, very good. So definitely they will come and go as well. So you don't regret anything. But um, you appreciate the ones who are doing what they are doing and you are happy with it. Okay, Papilo. Uh, Collins um, would like to ask a question. Collins, Leans, um Thanks for your patience. Apologies for uh, keeping you uh, this long. But please feel free to ask your question now, Collins. Yeah, I've got a couple of questions, but I have to give, I have to ask uh, three out of the questions because we don't have much time. Um, Papilo, I want to ask what is the most challenging aspect of your life? I don't know if you can hear me very well. And the second one is what are the best moments in your life? And how many kids do you have? Can I get the first one? The, okay. What is the most challenging aspect of your life? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when somebody uh, comes to you and say you cannot uh, do what you love to do and you have a heart problem, um, of course, you yourself, you are not like feeling anything. And you're not done, you're not sick, and um, it comes up that somebody will come to you and say, yeah, you have this challenge, you have this um, yeah, illness, and um, I think that's the, the biggest one for me. Yeah, and the second one is, um, what is the best moment in your life? Um, I would say when we won the Olympics, uh, because... Um, no African team have ever been there and won it. And, um, against our odds, nobody believed in us and they didn't give us the chance um, yeah, to do it. Uh, but we went there, uh, we thank God. Um, we are African Olympic champions, so we came back with the medal. Yeah. Not only that, uh, we did the big uh, South American uh, country, Mexico, Brazil, and Argentina. And Brazil was the best uh, gym team. No. And the and the last question, but not the least, um, how many kids do you have? Um, yeah, three now. Okay. Thank you very much for the quest for answering the questions. Thank you very much. Amina Epo has a question. Amina, let's hear you please. Um hi Kanu. I was already typing my question because I don't believe my battery would last that long any longer. But um, I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of your achievement mm -hmm. with the football. And I'm also proud how you have showcased your passion with the Kanu Health Foundation. It's very, very remarkable. Um, I just pray that God continues to bless you because mm -hmm. you are really a good role model. People hear of you and they are happy and just like I am. Also, I want you to know about your fitness routine. How do you keep so fit? And then any advice you have medically, you know, any advice you have for us so that we can look this good and then, you know, anything you've learned over the years that can really help people live healthier lives. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, it's difficult, you know, life after football is always difficult. Uh, for me, yeah, of course, um, I don't wake up very early in the morning anymore. And, um, yeah, I keep fit by um, yeah, two times um, or two days or uh, in a week. I have to really go out and uh, train. But I always have to watch what I'm eating. Um, you know, in Nigeria, yeah, we have a lot of uh, starchy food. So you have to know what you're eating. But uh, my advice would be that everybody, I have to make sure that um, you do exercise because uh, you have to give the heart beating and you have to sweat out sometimes. Uh, 
if you're not a footballer, it doesn't mean that you can exercise. If you're not a boxer, it doesn't mean you can exercise. You have to make sure that even if it's a walk, um, yeah, you just walk around. It's part of exercise. Uh, if you can't come out, you can do it in indoor, then you do it in your room. But make sure you do that before you, yeah, you take your shower. All right. So that's good for the heart. Thank you very much, Papilo. And uh, one final question from um, the Hangout guys. It's uh, Victor Okafor. Could you uh, uh, shoot your question quickly? Hello, Victor. Uh, Victor, you've got to unmute your uh, mute button, top right-hand corner of your screen. Uh, okay. Okay, finally. Finally. Is that you? Yeah, go ahead, Victor. Okay, some technical difficulty um, uh, from uh, Victor's end there. And um, uh, Victor, are you ready now? Okay, as it gets set, one, um, one question that uh, is agitating in the minds of most people. You've scored so many amazing goals. Which one of them is your best goal ever for you as a person? That one, a difficult question. It's a very difficult question. <laughs> and when you say that, it means that uh, you have a lot to choose, eh? Hmm. Where you come from, my oh. ass. Um, if you watch the YouTube, uh, kind of YouTube, you will see a goal that has scored in Holland. And um, yeah, talking about the Olympics, um, you see another great goal. You're talking of uh, Arsenal, you see another great goal. Um, for me to make a choice. And for me, I would say it's the goal against Brazil. Um, uh, because of um, how the game was going, and uh, the time of the goal and how I scored it. So I said the Brazil goal was the best goal. All right. Um, we now have uh, uh, Victor's question typed in. He's asking, are there any partnership opportunities in cash or kind? And of course, what is the channel for it? That's talking about the Cano Heart Foundation. Are there any partnership opportunities in cash or kind? Yeah, of course. Um, like we say, we are like um, Oliver Twist. We keep on uh, begging and asking for more. So whoever wants to support us can go to our website and check us out and make sure that they support us. Or you can give us a call and let us know what uh, you want to do. And in partnering with the foundation, of course, the doors are open. We want more people to come and join us and what we are doing. So, yeah. Uh, we still say it's open for everybody. Uh, you know, it's not when you give us billion that we appreciate that you have done something. So whatever you can, um, it depends on who you are, where you are coming from. Um, one cowboy is something. Fifteen naira is something. One dollar is something. One pound is something. Um, one yen is something. Um, uh, you're not doing it only for Kano. We are doing it for the less privileged out there who cannot afford it. So when people are doing something for the foundation, they have to think like that and uh, believe that, yeah, they are giving back and they are putting smiles in those families who are there begging for their support. And um, for, for me, uh, we have stopped playing now. I have more time to work with the foundation and make sure we achieve that. All right. Um, thank you very much. We've um, run uh, totally out of time, but Olisa is just going to uh, throw one at you. Uh, Olisa, take it from here. Well, uh, Kanu, uh, good evening. Hope you can hear me. You're one of the most intelligent footballers we've seen play football, uh, not just for the African continent, but in the world. Your first touch while playing for any club and for the national team was absolutely sublime, which means uh, we saw sparks of intelligence when you touched the ball. So I'd love to ask, because I've always thought about this, what would have kind of been if he weren't a footballer, if he didn't play football? A pastor? Um, it could have, for me, a hardcore businessman. Hey! <laughs> hardcore, I like that. <laughs> um, but normally, people normally say that people from my area, they love business. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, uh, but all the same, <laughs> everybody loves to put in and uh, make profit. And um, I believe if I'm not playing football, 
I could have used that uh, thing up here hmm. to figure out one, two, or one or two things to do to make sure that um, I don't go into bad things. Uh, I don't go into things that people, when they hear the name, they start running. Yeah. So I thank God that, um, yeah, uh, God still give me a talent, and um, yeah, here I am. All right, guys, um, uh, uh, you could send us your comments uh, using the hashtag Ask Kanu. Ask A S K K A N U. And um, if uh, there are any other questions you wish to ask, you, you can reach Kanu on his Google uh, account. That, that's gplusid.com forward slash King Kanu or his Twitter account, Papilo Kanu. The Papilo is with a single L P A P I L O Kanu. Uh, that's um, on Twitter. But Digi does have one question to shoot from here. All right, uh, Papilo, um, let, let me say first that um, I, I used to look up to you uh, well, while, while I played football, while I was much younger and played football. Well, that was then when I thought I could make a career out of playing football. <laughs> but well, Papilo, now, many people actually think and, well, they thought then that you usually played for penalties. Just a question, and I want you to be sincere as always about this. Did you ever play for penalties? Because a couple of times, uh, a couple of times in your career, would see you, you'd fall uh, very easily, and then sometimes you may want to put the ball onto the opponent's hand just to get a penalty. Did you play for penalties, Papilo? Um, let me go back to I used to. I'm very happy that you used to. Um, now, <laughs> take that used to now and go into whatever you are doing. Because football is all about uh, brain. Mm. So whatever I do on that pitch is all about what is in here. So as a young boy then you used to. So now you're a big boy. Please, please don't forget <laughs> that used to and take it to that whatever you're doing now. And coming to the question of, <laughs> of flying in and falling down and doing that. Um, not really. I can tell you uh, all the strikers you have seen, um, I'm uh, very, very strong. It's always difficult to take out the ball from me. True, true. But um, uh, due to, of course, you know the rules and regulation of football. When I'm on the 18-yard ball, like I said, the 18-yard ball, there's, um, why should I be in a hurry? I have to feel like I'm at home. So whatever you do there, you know what is going to happen. So Kano doesn't uh, always go in there to make sure that he gives penalty. But if I'm there, if I can score, then I score. If I can't score, then um, that's part of football. I have to trick you to do what you're not supposed to do. And uh, <laughs> yeah, putting ball in people's hand, of course, that's the best key you can ever get. Because <laughs> you're, you're hiding your hand and I'm chasing your hand. I make sure I put the ball there so to get what I want. So. <laughs> So, you know, nice Papilo one. is not known to run uh, like um, uh, 100 meters runners. But um, if I don't have that, I have other ways that I can <laughs> make up of that. And that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So, my brother, I don't fall always there. Eh? <laughs> but I have to do it because at the time I do that, I believe people at home will be jumping up. Yeah! I'm getting penalty. Totally, totally, Papilo. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, ah, we, 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 as a matter of fact, we have no choice but to just wait a few seconds because we, uh, we've just been told that there are some people joining us from the Kanu uh, Heart Foundation and uh, we've got to bring them in the studio. We were just about to sign off as they make their way back up here. Uh, Titus ha has got one question uh, for you. Titus Van Kolle, could we hear you? Um, hello, Kanu. Can you hear me, Kanu? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. All right. Uh, I'd like to start by saying you're one of my favourite Nigerian players. I've always loved you, especially during your days in Highbury. We used to sneak in then to just watch you play. We would claim to be members of the BBC back then to just <laughs> watch Kano play for Arsenal. Fantastic player you were. Now, Kano, this is it. Let's talk about, let's go away from you, from your career. Your son, Sean, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, you always talk about Sean. You always say he's special. Now, I'm quite sure uh, not so many players actually talk about their sons picking up uh, some sort of career in the game of football. But when it comes to your son, you're always ecstatic and you say he's special. Now, what position does Sean play? And can you possibly say he, um, 
just chose football as a career single-handedly or by chance did you find a way of imposing the game of football uh as going talking about Sean your son what position does he play and how well does he play um first of all you don't have to force somebody to do what uh, he doesn't want to do uh but um as a dad um you watch and you see the qualities that comes out from him for me uh, when he was a kid he was like uh, he's in love with football which is normal from his dad and uh, now that he's up to 8 years uh, he's been playing football he loves football he watches football and he talk about football and um yeah if my dad at that time was telling me what i'm going to tell him now i know i could have done more better than what i've done now can you imagine that so all the same you have to make sure that um you put that on them if you have a son who is playing football you have to make sure that uh yeah you tell him how good he is uh for me i've seen him play um even as i'm talking two academies are calling him to come and play for for them uh it's not that i'm putting pressure on him to play football uh, if he chooses tomorrow to do something else because he's still in school of course i will support him but um, i love football and uh, if my son wants to play football uh, we say yes and uh, the position he plays for him he loves putting the ball uh in the net um that is his joy but i'm trying to make sure that uh, he can pick all the skills um uh, yeah of course develop them and make sure that football is not about putting the ball in the net um he's very strong and he scores goals and whenever he comes in is like daddy i scored three goals i scored four goals it's all about goals for him so he's a striker for now but nobody knows because for me i started as, i was a midfielder and um suddenly now i'm a striker so nobody knows when he's uh, growing up what he's going to be I joined in the studio by Margaret um it's good to have you join us um Margaret welcome um would would like you to please help us with some um more proper introduction i um let's get to know you better okay thanks much my name is Margaret Thompson i'm a, a secretary in Canowas foundation i'm also a beneficiary a beneficiary yeah. of uh, the heart foundation yeah mother of a beneficiary the mother of a beneficiary yes okay uh, your son your daughter my son Oh, amazing um stuff uh, um how long ago was this and what was the story like for your son okay my son the problem started uh, when he was about 5 years so we have been battling with that problem until we got to Kanomankwa Heart Foundation when they discovered that the boy has a hole in his heart so when we got to the foundation they took over from there they took my boy to Israel he had his surgery done in Israel and the foundation paid everything and now my boy is bouncing very well he dropped from school for 6 years during that sickness but after the surgery he, he went back to school and is doing very well now thank you very much for sharing that with us uh, i mean you cannot but just applaud that and that is one story out of like uh, can you i'm sure you've lost count uh, i mean do they do they bring you up to speed as to how many people have benefited do you, do you can you tell yeah 457 like i said um but the, the good thing is um uh whenever i'm traveling you see people coming to me and they start telling me ah my daughter my son benefited from the kana foundation even this one is going to get married the other day and this one is even working here Uh, without the foundation my uh, son uh, will not make it in life and all the same i just tell them uh, it's not kanu uh, it's god and um, kanu is just there to help and that's what i'm doing so if you know what uh, happened to you you open your mouth and make others to know and try to also yeah do the same for others and that's what the foundation stands for um you will hear more stories because uh, like you say we don't have time but if you have time and start getting them all together you hear a lot of stories so 
uh, you have adults, you have kids, you have footballers, you have traders, you have bankers, you have media people. You have a lot of people who have benefited from the foundation. Um, the foundation, um, we still keep doing what they uh, know uh, how to do. Thank you, Papilo. We are joined also in the house by two young men um, in the house. Uh, they, they look, well, uh, they're they footballers. They are brothers. Um, let's get to meet you, uh, gentlemen. All right. Good evening. Um, my name is uh, Titus Daniel. I'm one of the beneficiaries of the Canada Foundation. Hmm. So, um, you, you, I mean, what was it like for you? I mean, when, when, for how long did you battle with a heart situation? Well, for a very long time, like my mom has said, um, since the problem started, started okay. when I was five years old. Um, okay. It was pretty difficult, but thank God now I'm fine now, thanks to the Canada Foundation. All right. I've been doing itself. You're fine now. I'm fine now. And um, the other young man? My name is Adeso Ola Mileko. Okay. I'm a beneficiary of Canada Foundation. Okay. So um, you, you also had heart issues? Yeah. Okay. And um, what has it been like for you? Uh, to a great, I can't say because it's difficult to say right now because I'm... Oh. Mm. All right. I mean, uh, these are uh, just a few of those stories, and I can imagine how those over 400 stories will resonate across 440 or 750 something families um, yeah. across, you know, uh, everywhere. You know, the good thing is, you know, you see them now, you see how big they are. Mm. So you have to ask them how many years um, they have been operated. Um, you know, when I saw the kid, the one talking now, he was not mm. really big like that. <laughs> Ola, the Ola guy. Yeah. How long ago? How long ago did the operation take place? Um, 2003. 2003. That's that's some ten years ago. That's what I'm telling you. So you can imagine <laughs> how little he was. Wow. <laughs> then, amazing so. stuff. Amazing stuff. Um, and so we thank God. Papilo, I I don't know. I I am not going to. Um, begin to be all emotional on national radio but um well, i'm gonna say thank you very much for joining us this is your first ever hangout i remember the first time i saw you on twitter i was like you know i, I mean we just went gaga tweeting can move at last on twitter and it's good to see that you found time uh, to relate. Um, as some people would say, uh, the older generations couldn't bother less about social media and all of that. It's, um, it's, it's a great thing to know uh, that you bother and you care, You're using this opportunity to reach out and uh, over an amazing career span that has uh, brought us glory and has won you plenty, plenty of acc accolades, uh, a Champions League medal, a UEFA Cup medal, three FA Cup winners medals, two African Player of the Year awards, among so many others. Uh, one of the few players to have won the Premier League, FA Cup, Champions League, UEFA Cup, and an Olympic gold medal. And um, I hear that you made the second, second highest substitute appearances in Premier League history. Uh, you came off the bench 118 times uh, so, and um, there, there was a time we all knew you here as the super sub. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ah. So, you know, I mean, you reached, you reached so much havoc when you came off the bench. Sometimes we didn't even want to see you from the start. I think you're forgetting something. You're forgetting the trophies, but um, <laughs> um, you just got the ones you knew. That's why I'm saying that... Um, mm. You have to keep on following Kano to know more about mm -hmm. Kano. And um, life after football, there's a lot for Kano, and he's doing them. So, like you said, this is a means to make sure that people will know what I'm doing, where I'm going, and what I want to achieve. So let them keep on following me, make sure they do, because they are my fans, and I thank them for supporting me and praying for me. But next time, when you watch the movie or you follow me, you will have more of the trophies that next time when you're calling the pro trophies you can call all of them and then don't leave them <laughs> Look, to be sure i mean we wouldn't live here if we were going to call every single thing right from the days of enugu rangers it just <laughs> it, it it won't work thank you very much papilo um like uh, like i said to you um sometime last year when we met uh, during the um the camp for kids somewhere here in Naja, the um uh, Greenland, uh, do you remember what's the name of the school again? Uh, like, uh, uh, um, 
Green Spring, yes, Green Spring, where we met. Um, that was the first season of it, and um, yeah. I said we will be with you. Our stations, Cool FM, Wazobia FM, Nigeria Info. We are proud of you, and would um, want to um, be your voice, as um, especially for your heart foundation that is dear to our heart and is dear to the heart of all Nigerians. We'd, we'd like to appreciate you and tell you we'll always be here. You'll always have us at your beck and call. Uh, thank you very much for doing this, Papilo. Thank you. I really appreciate I really appreciate your support. And um, hope others will support us the way you're supporting us uh, so that we can really, yeah, build the hospitals and make sure that we help uh, the less privileged ones. Thank you very much for having me. I'm happy to be here today. This is my first hangout, and there's more to come. All right. I would like to thank um, all the guys who joined us. Uh, Amwolika, Eminanjo, thank you very much, Amwolika, for joining us. And um, Azu Umwokobia, I hope none of you left, you know, um, had anything left out. Uh, we are able to pass your comments across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Chidima John Opara, thank you very much for joining this hangout. All right. Um, well, I'm going to come to you last. Collins Leans, great to have you join us. All right. Um, Dami Akinwande, great pleasure. And of course, um, our own Chinedu Obasi Ogbuke. <laughs> What's that again? Say it, say it again. <laughs> say it, <laughs> <nickname> again. <laughs> Amazing stuff. Thank you very much. We've had fun with you, and uh, we hope to do this uh, sometime in the future. On behalf of the whole team here, um, Emmanuel Etim, Olisa Chukuma, Fiona, Titus Bankole, Deji, uh, Aderemi, and Grace, and uh, her lovely kid, and the other beneficiary who joined us here. Kanu, I'm Femi Obong Daniels, and I wish you the very, very best in all. Thank you. Thank you so much.